walking the Freedom Trail. Samuel okay. Adams' grave. I don't plan on eating this, but it's too cute. Yeah, I think that's your orange juice. It is 0.52 ounces. Why not? Did you want back through again, Kim? Cute. Yeah, that was cute. It's a Christmas store all year long. You can decorate for Christmas or St. Patrick's Day or whatever. Did you find the cows? No. Oh, oh ice cream tree. Yes. Thank you. Oh, come in. A latte tree. Did you have a <laughs> This is a cool store. We found some cool aprons upstairs, but they were 40 bucks. And I said I could probably make one, so we took pictures. <laughs> Look how cute this is. And I found a hat I like. I'll show you in just a second. I'll show you the hat. It's this one, mostly because it's green. I do not like the puffy puff ball, though. But I think I could make one. It's 25 bucks. We're trying to kill time because um, we don't have to leave for the airport for like an hour. We've been here for a long time. I wish we would have had more time at Old Sturbridge Village instead of here. But I'm not in charge. Now my children are leaving. Now I'm about to play in Harry Potter. <laughs> the dumb kids in our group are making noises at her. Here's Amanda playing the piano to impress this boy that just played the guitar. <laughs> $17.91 for our two ice cream cones. <laughs> I just don't think it's quite worth it. <laughs> Look at that face, how cute. Oh, either. I'm sorry? This big, giant, amazing thing. Karen gave me some of her rice. She took some of my noodles. This is so packed, and already even a sip. There's a dude playing live music downstairs. Get creative in here. Have you ever heard of the Harvard Lampoon? <laughs> they make just fun, yeah. They make fun of everything. So that is that is here. Then this is the Minuteman statue. <laughs> Minuteman. Or umbrellas. Quinn <laughs> doesn't want to be in mine. Just go ahead. So the back of the bus can see it. That is the schoolhouse, which uh, Alcott Bronson, I don't know whether, one usually just talks about Louisa May Alcott, but, but uh, Bronson Alcott, he was a teacher and he was kind of a, a, a visionary. Uh, he wanted to really, really uh, uh, have a, a free and open school system where the children feel comfortable. For instance, he, in his school room, there was never any beating. Mm -hmm. And up after that point, children in school rooms were beaten if they misbehaved. He also installed chairs with backs so the children could lean back, which was not the case in other school rooms. They were just benches. Because if you could now lean kidding, back, you have kids a tendency on bouncy balls to, to be lazy and fall asleep. So there were strict rules in, in regular school rooms. No backs, beatings were Hawthorne's house and also okay we can move on the house and we are going to Alcott, pass the by father. the orchard house the remains of those who fell in the battle of Lexington were brought here from the old cemetery April 20th 1835 and buried within the railing in front of this monument oh my 